Welcome to this Yomosoft screencast about VDCF LDOM. VDCF is a management software from Yomosoft. It is used to manage and monitor virtualized Solaris environments. Here you see how you may manage your Solaris zones and LDOMs dynamically using VDCF. VDCF is set up on a central management server. VDCF installs your Spark or x86 hardware using Jumpstart technology. On the hardware you deploy guest domains and vServers. We avoid the term zone because zones exist in Solaris, in the network and in storage environments. We use the term vServer instead of Solaris non-global zone. Using VDCF you are able to migrate or fail over the domains and vServers between the different hardware in your data center, even in the case of a hardware failure. VDCF fully automates the upgrade of a vServer between a guest domain and the M-series global zone. Next you see a short demo about the main features for Aldom. The terminal windows are all on the VDCF management server, where we execute the commands. The command cdom show lists all the control domains which are already set up. You see the defined resources, the hardware and the LDOM versions. The gdom command is used to manage the guest domains. We have four guest domains. Two are up and running. The guest domain for customer X is on the control domain 7, but is not running. The development guest domain 506 is detached for later use. Using VDCF you have a central view about your LDOMs. Inside the guest domain 502 there is a vServer running. Now let's take a look at the details of this guest domain 502. All this information is stored in the VDCF repository. Based on the discovered data about LDOM versions and disks, VDCF is able to list the candidate control domains. Because a firmware upgrade is planned for the current control domain 13, we need to migrate the guest domain 502 to another control domain. We have two choices. Because the control domain 4 is a T5240 with a different CPU, we can't use live migration. The control domain 7 meets all the requirements for live migration. Same CPU as the control domain 13, Solaris 10 update 9 and LDOM 2.1 installed. Using a single command, we initiate the live migration of the guest domain 502. There is no downtime for the vServers and applications running inside the guest domain while we migrate. The migration takes around one minute. We connect to this guest domain to prove we do not even lose an SSH connection while we migrate to another machine. For cold migrations between different hardware, the same command is used, just omitting the live flag. And now the live migration is finished. We can check if we are still locked in the guest domain. This live migration ran only a bit more than one minute. In the VDCF repository we see now the guest domain 502 is running on the control domain 7. Thanks for watching this short VDCF demo. Let's summarize the benefits of VDCF, the Virtual Data Center Control Framework for Solaris. The usage is very simple. No deep knowledge of Solaris is required. The deployed guest domains and zones are set up standardized in very short time. Using the migration and failover features you improve the availability without the need of cluster software. You find more information about VDCF on our product homepage. The whole product documentation is available online. Don't hesitate to contact us if you are interested in a proof of concept.